How's it going guys? Let's get this going. This is my prediction video for the fantasy team TI7 main event and the bracket. Um, so this is basically a video for the people who have fallen quite behind uh, uh, the, their fantasy score so far. I have quite a decent score, like the best out of my friends, which are quite shit, like this guy has 176 points. I still not close to top 100, I've, but I still think I'm in the first uh, 10%, which is 16 levels, so if you guys want some uh, poor advice, but better than uh, most others, I guess, uh, you can check my opinion on it. I, I'm doing another video, because I've seen the other one had quite a bit of success, I guess, of reach. So, the first thing you have to do, well, it's, uh, I basically check how the players earn points and just find out how each player performs in most of the games. I'm not going to go through all of the details right now because it's already halfway through. And I'm just going to pick, uh, to actually show you my picks for uh, the first death main event, which is locked in 18 hours. Maybe you'll have like 10 hours until uh, the video will be posted. So, obviously you have to pick the guys who play the most games, which is obviously the guys that are going to play the best of three games, because as we know uh, from the bracket over here, uh, the first two days will have, uh, the first day actually, will have Liquid IG and EG with Newbie, best of three, and the other four games in the lower bracket, which is best of one. So you definitely want to pick your uh, players from the best of three games, because they're obviously going to play more maps than the ones from best of one. That's pretty obvious. What is more? Now you're just guessing. That's exactly the way I'm going to go for it. I personally think that both games are going to go... I like have the potential of going three maps, but I'm not sure on IG Liquid. I'm pretty confident... I'm 100% I'm on EG Newbie going three maps. And maybe 70% on IG Liquid, but don't take don't take it serious, like it's TI, Dota's not a sh certain game, everything can happen. So that's on you actually. Uh, okay, then go back to Fantasy, yeah, there it is. Picking your cores, so the highest uh, Fantasy player from all of those four teams that is a core is Miracle. Uh, Miracle, he's, I have quite some, I really have, I really have bad cards. Like, you can see on the 4th of August, I had, like, the f 5 out of s best 7 players in that day, and I barely got a 528 points, because I have really bad cards, because I deleted the good ones, because I'm new. It, it doesn't matter, I'm, I'm a bad guy. No, I'm not that kind. It doesn't matter. <laughs> so, it's Miracle. And then the other 3 really good players are uh, Burning... If I'm not, yeah, it's Burning, which I have quite a bad, not a bad card for him. S Triple C from Newbie, not bad. Uh, that's quite a decent card, to be honest. And well, what's that? This player is not scheduled to play on this day. Oh, that's nice. So apparently they're showing to you, you why you don't have to choose the other one. And uh, Sumail, yeah, it's Sumail, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Okay, so going back to the bracket. I think I'm going to risk it on Miracle, because he's going to have the most uh, fantasy points if both games go three maps, or both games go two maps. What I'm advising you guys, it's go for your own choices, but those are the four guys I would advise you to pick from. Uh, it's Miracle, Burning, SCCC, and Sumail. I'm not going to go on both Miracle and Burning because they have a s that, like they both have a game and they might end in two maps and the other might end in three maps. And it might be the other way around. I'm I'm not going to risk it anyway. I will go with Miracle and Sumail. I'm not a fan of neither of these players to be honest, especially not Miracle. Sumail is just good, but that's it. As you can see from my previous days, I tend to pick a lot. Okay, that's not a Western. Uh, see quite a lot of. Uh, Asian uh, players, you can see on my Friday, besides Mipochka, everyone is from Saudi Asia and China and stuff. Um, but I'll just go for the two of them, because Sumail tends to sh always show up in uh, the big games, and Miracle has the highest fantasy points so far, even though my cards for them are dreadful, like, you, okay, t maybe team fight is not that bad and stuns, but sure. Just remember, Burning S, Triple C, Sumail and Miracle, that's definitely the guys to pick from uh, for the 7th of August. You can even go all in and pick uh, 
uh, both a miracle and burning from the same game if you want to risk it, but I don't think it's worth it. Uh, offlane, I think this is the toughest one if I'm not mistaken, because we have the, f uh, the, the, the offlaners are really close, so I think the highest stats so far are uh, ex excesses. Um, but it's only for like uh, four points, and the other three of laners, which is mind control in universe, and uh, uh, oh, sorry, in cape. You know, cape is quite bad. So it's mind control in universe, like are quite close to each other, and uh, as I was saying, uh, XXS has the highest stats so far. But then again, are you going to risk it? We know that mind control in universe are almost always showing up for uh, the big games and we can see XXS my XXS and universe and uh, my control cards are the normal cards while I have universe as an offlane even though the stats are quite bad with GPM and camp stack but stuns is alright I guess uh, so I'm going to skip this one for now and go back to supports which the best supports by stats of by far in the whole tournament besides teams from TNC which is the literally best fantasy player of TA7 so far are Boboka and Kaka uh, and they're both playing they're both playing in uh, different uh, games so even though one of them might end in two maps and the thing that the thing that you guys want to happen is to pick five guys from the same game that game to go three maps and the other game to stay two maps but I'm not going to risk it that way I just hope that the both games will finish in three maps because I enjoy seeing good Dota and good Dota goes to as many maps as possible so I'm going with the safe bet okay, Kaka and Boboka both uh, get a lot of fantasy points as you can see in my previous days uh, I think Kaka earned like 75 which is quite a lot for support maybe not as much as uh, Teams did the, the day before that because teams uh, no teams got 130. That's insane, and it's a normal card. Like you can tell why uh, teams is the got the most uh, fantasy points out of this day, and Kaka got less because he played less games than teams. But anyway, you got my point. Kaka and Bobuka are the safe bets. Um, the other supports you can uh, choose to go for are definitely not Jarex. Jarex is an OG player. It's Kuroki. Yeah, Kuroki would be. <sighs> Just replace Baboka with Kuroki, just don't swap Kaka. Kaka brings a lot of points, trust me. He's the highest rated, uh, second highest rated support of the tournament, if I'm not mistaken. And then now we go back to offlanes. Offlanes, so... It depends how many players do we got. <laughs> so far I have uh, one player of each team that's going to play tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. So, just go for the team you think is going to play three maps and actually win the second map like yeah win the best of three because their offlaner is going to win the most points but don't go for KP if you think Yubi is going to win in three maps I'd still rather cho uh, choose uh, universe because uh, KP doesn't get a lot of fantasy points sorry KP so it's bet for me it's between universe mind control and XXS the only reason I wouldn't go for XXS is because I'm afraid Liquid is going to come guns blazing and destroy IG20 and I already have Boboka from that team. Even if I would have chosen they're both burning and uh, XXS. But I don't want to risk my uh, fantasy team with two players. And then again, I wouldn't pick Mind Control because they might win in two maps. Whilst I'm pretty confident that Universe is going to show up because that's what he, he and Mind Control do all the time. But Universe against Newbie, like uh, IEG versus Newbie, has the big higher potential to go three maps. So, yeah, I'm going Universe, which I did in the first day as well, and it was really, like, disappointing. He got, like, 50, 60 points. I don't know. No, yeah. You see, in July, got 18 a day. I mean, XX has got less points yesterday, but he got 50 points in two games. Universe got 60 points in... No, XX has got 50 points in four games, and, X, and Universe got 60 in six games. So... I'm literally betting on all the three games going three maps, and uh, EG... EG especially going three maps. 
with Kaka getting a lot of points. You know my the other, my other suggestions. Just if you want, go all in on the game with uh, the picks I've suggested. So yeah, I'm losing. I'm yeah, I'm losing too much time. Let's go to the bracket. Who I think is going to win international? This is really tough. But let's go with the lower bracket. IG Vitality, Vitality against DC. I genuinely want. What? Whoa, whoa, no, 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 no. What? What's going on? How is this happening? Okay, yeah. yeah that's, no, I don't think IG Vitality is going that far, but yeah. So I think IG Vitality should beat DC. I really, I really cheer for IG Vitality. I don't know. I mean. I like Mason and DC, but I like the older DC. I think Paparazzi and uh, Sakata are really good players. They have a really good team. IG Vitality is in the lower bracket because of a couple of fluke -lu losses. So I go IG Vitality. OG Infamous. I would go for Infamous. I, I swear to God I would cho choose Infamous. But considering the way Anna has been carrying the past few days, I think someone's going to show up and play with Anna alongside Anna, so uh, I, th I uh, it's so hard. Secret is going to be beat Execration or not. I honestly don't care about Secret anymore. And Cloud9 Empire, so if you want my advice, I would advise you to go for Empire, but because as you might know, as I already predicted that Cloud9 will win the tournament, which is not going to happen, but I'm uh Cloud9 uh, fan because of Bone7, which is not in the team, I don't know, I just like, it's painful to be a Cloud9 fan, and I kind of like it, I don't know, um, yeah, going to upper bracket, Liquid IG, I think IG has the potential of winning, even though Liquid might go 0-2-0, so I'll go with what mo like, Liquid has a 60-40 chance of winning, so I'll go for Liquid, but if I'm ruining my predictions because of this, I'll be mad. EG Newbie. Mm, I think Newbie has the potential to take it. I'll be honest with you guys. Newbie can take this all. EG hasn't been so impressing if you ask me these couple of days. But it's main event. Hell, I probably will see Newbie. Clown in the lower bracket as we did a couple of years ago. LFY TNC. TNC has the, pro the the potential to upset LFY. And I'll pick TNC. I think their style is perfectly like it it's blend it blends perfect perfectly against uh, LFYs, even though LFY has played stunning, has lost uh, just two games and won a game and one of the games was was somewhat of a throw with Pudge. Virtus Pro LGD, I think Virtus Pro can take this. I don't know if in dramatic fashion, but I think they can take it. So then we go back to IG Secret, which I think IG is going to take quite easy. Newbie Cloud9. Oh, that's a tough one. That's a really tough one. I think Cloud9 will lose, but I'll go with Cloud9 because that's what, that's what my heart says anyway. Um... So how many points do you get? So if you get 15 points, 15 predictions, right predictions, okay. So how many predictions can you get? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. No, it's, no, it's, I'm not wrong. It's 4, 12, oh, you can still get a lot of points, okay. LFY OG. That's a tough one. See, it could be TNC with OG and TNC. I'll go with OG because I'm not sure about the LFY TNC prediction anyway. Nah, let's swap it. And then let's just go with the favorites. IG Vitality beating LGD, I can totally see that happening. I can even see IG Vitality beating Virus Pro, even though Virus Pro might beat IG Vitality for that. I don't know, it's a tough call. I think IG Vitality has higher chances against LGD than Virus Pro. Yeah, I think that's quite obviously because Virus Pro kick. Yeah. Uh, then again, the winner between IG and Cloud9... Cloud9 is not going to get this far, but what the hell? Let's go full fange. OG against IG Vitality. This would be one of the one hell of a game. 
I think we've already seen it, but I would like to see a best of, full best of three. Let's go with OG because maybe Notail would decide to actually play this tournament. Liquid EG, I think EG is taking this. If it gets to EG Liquid, I think EG takes it quite in fashion, I think. LFY Virtus Pro. I can see Virtus Pro beating LFY. It's a tough call. It's a really tough call to make. Have they played each other? Yeah, I think Virtus Pro already lost to them 2 all. Yes, they did. But then again, it could be TNC. I'll go Virtus Pro. I can see EG Virtus Pro in upper bracket finals. Yeah, I can definitely see that. LFY Cloud9, let's be honest. Cloud9 is not getting over. Like, it, it would be... If Cloud9 gets this far, they can take it all. Which I hope they will. But I already put my money on them, so I'm not going to risk it again. I actually put Cloud9 over IG. I'm insane. Uh, oh, no, we're newbie as well. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Liquid OG. Um, is it OG? in the lower bracket? I think OG would take this. I genuinely think that if we're going to see Liquid OG happening anywhere else but the finals, I think OG will take it. I don't know why. I'm not a I'm not big uh, on the Liquid train. I don't know. Then LFY OG. With OG or... Oh, that's really tough. I don't know. I think... It depends. This is like five days in. Four days in, I guess. Three to four days in. It's unpredictable as hell, guys. See, probably LFY is not going to be in the lower bracket by then. So if OG is going to face someone else... They will win, probably. But if they face either VP, TNC already chosen, I don't really. Now I'll pick OG only because I'm not sure that LFY will lose anytime soon. <laughs> and then we'll have EG against the Virtus Pro. With Virtus Pro taking this, going in the grand finals against OG. Yeah? I don't think Virtus Pro and OG are going to win the international. <laughs> uh, I'm the same guy that's actually said that this is the China ear and either Virtus Pro or Cloud9 could like, take them down. Cloud9 is shit so far and Virtus Pro is not that high on my list. Only because I can see Virtus Pro play against either you know, newbie or Telefy or let's put it this way: I think that if a Western team is to win TI this year, it's it has to be Virtus Pro because Cloud9 has no chance. And I know for sure a fact that OG, EG, and Liquid are figured out by the Chinese teams because that's the way China goes, I guess. So yeah, that's my bold prediction. Do you want my advice? Don't follow the bracket. <laughs> yeah, go for a fantasy team, I'm quite sure on this. Ignore the bracket, please. Just don't destroy me, guys. <laughs> that was all for today. Hope you had fun with my uh, Cloud9 bandwagon. And um, I guess good luck on earning points and on your predictions. See you soon, guys.